Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode if you haven't done so. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving their diplomas. Please do not come to the front to take photos during the ceremony. Graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket with you and identity card before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card, logon ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your order for photos later. In line with new precautionary measures we have just received, there will be no presentation of the physical scroll box or prize folder and medal by the presenter. Instead, you will pick up your own scroll box and prize folder and medal backstage before proceeding to have your photo taken. Lastly, graduates, graduation is a formal occasion. Please show respect for our guests and fellow graduates in your behaviour. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. remain standing for our national anthem. No singing is allowed. Gentlemen, please be seated. Our guests of honour, Ms. Sun Shilling, Minister of State for Ministry of Education and Ministry of Social and Family Development. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 61st graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this 23rd session, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from the, from the Media and Arts and Design School. The highest awards of the Polytechnic will also be presented. 
May I now invite our Principal and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. So Wai Wa, to address us. Mr. So, please. Ms. Sun Sui Lin, Minister of State, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Social and Family Development. Ms. Janet Ang, Chairman of the Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors. Parents who are watching this live streaming, colleagues, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to Singapore Polytechnic's 61st graduation ceremony. Founded in 1954, Singapore Polytechnic held our first graduation ceremony in Victoria Theatre. That was in the year 1961. Subsequently, we commemorated our 100,000 graduate in the year 2000. And just three years ago, we achieved the milestone of graduating our 200,000 graduate. We are the first Polytechnic and among only a few institutes of higher learning to be able to make this proud declaration. I congratulate all 6,054 graduates this year for your achievements and determination through your years in SP. Your achievement has been all the more remarkable because of the trying circumstances of your last two semesters. You have overcome despite having to do so under the shadow of COVID-19. Having been refined through the testing, all of you can now be proud and honoured to join the 218,000 plus network of illustrious alumni. Like you, they had entered the gates of SP and gone through our rigorous yet caring education. They have then gone on to help Singapore build our development over the last six decades. I hope that all of you graduates today will draw inspiration from this outstanding network of alumni and continue the SP tradition of powering our development and transforming our country towards a strong economy and a caring society. I hope that each of you as an alumnus of SP, will consider how you can give back to SP in your own way. Consider helping out in the CCAs or be mentors to those junior to you still studying in SP. Or simply donate when the opportunity arises, as many alumni did last year through the SP Graduates Guild. That particular donation effort raised $235,000 to help students who were faced with financial difficulties because of the COVID-19 situation. You can join the SP Graduates Guild to keep in touch with SP and with one another and find out how you can contribute back to SP. To help you carry the SP alumni mantle to renew the country, and thrive in this era of constant technological disruption, SP has transformed ourselves to be a polytechnic not just for teenagers, but a polytechnic for all ages. We have committed ourselves to be your lifelong learning partner beyond your graduation. Through our continued education programs, we will help you upgrade and further develop your skills at different stages of your life. These programs cover not just your areas of specializations, but also generic ones. All of you will find these programs helpful as you face a world that will eventually rise above the shadow of COVID-19, but still one that continues to be volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, and always subjected to disruption. Beyond what you have received during your time in SP, you need to constantly learn, unlearn, and relearn. In fact, your learning journey will extend way beyond your time in SP. It will be lifelong. 
So your graduation today is but the beginning of a new long-term relationship with SB. We want to be your partner in your lifelong learning journey. So graduates, as I once again extend my congratulations, I say to you not just goodbye, but also see you again on campus. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. So. It is now my pleasure to invite our guest of honor, Ms. Sun Xie Ling, Minister of State for Ministry of Education and Ministry of Social and Family Development to deliver the graduation address. Ms. Sun, please. Ms. Janet Ang, Chairman, Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors. Mr. So Wai Wa, Principal and CEO, Singapore Polytechnic. Parents, family members, graduates, good afternoon. I'm delighted to join all of you today on this very special occasion. Today marks a significant milestone for all of you. The 146 graduates from the media, arts and design school, as well as the nine graduates receiving SP's institutional medals. Congratulations to all of you for your hard work and success. Let's give each other a good round of applause. I would also like to acknowledge those who have supported you in this journey, your faculty members, family and friends, many who are celebrating this milestone with you virtually today. In a typical year, we would have been gathered in a large hall. This is a very large hall, but we are just occupying the first couple of rows of seats. Unfortunately, with COVID-19, we are unable to celebrate all together physically. But the silver lining is that we are able to reach out to a far greater, bigger audience through an online format. The pandemic has resulted in us making many adjustments to the way we work, we live, we learn. It will continue to change the world that we live in. But the pandemic has also underscored the importance of resilience, self-care and fostering a stronger community spirit of helping one another. In the past year, we were forced to venture out of our comfort zones. All of you went through home-based learning for almost an entire semester, and everyone pulled together to ensure that teaching and learning were not compromised. Lecturers followed your academic progress and well-being throughout the home-based learning period. Lectures were conducted online and assessments redesigned to allow for online submissions. Your lecturers made use of interactive formats such as online quizzes and live polls to gather timely feedback and customise their teaching to your learning needs. Virtual breakout sessions were put in place to encourage collaboration and creative discussions in many of your project teams. Many of you also came up with innovative ideas to continue school activities. For example, the music and audio technology students live streamed their performances when they could not return to campus to perform on stage. Kudos to all of you for your innovation and creativity. The pandemic affected our way of life. When we headed into circuit breaker, it became very difficult for some of your peers to continue with your internships. It has been especially challenging in the arts and entertainment fields, as well as adjacent sectors like events management and hospitality. Your lecturers responded quickly by contacting their industry partners to secure more internship placements. They also worked closely with employers to design alternative work arrangements in lieu of in-person internships to ensure that learning outcomes were still met with minimal impact to your academic progression. Among us today 
is Josephine Kwan Shu Jin. Josephine, where are you? Ah, there you are. She's a graduate from the Diploma in Landscape Architecture. Josephine's father passed away when she was just six years old. Her mother worked tirelessly to raise four daughters and the close-knit family put themselves together through their challenges. Joseph Josephine started working since secondary four to put herself through school and polytechnic studies and also to supplement the household expenditure. To this day, she continues to support herself and contribute to her household. Josephine has also been actively contributing to the community. Tapping on her creativity and love for design and nature, she started an online business selling customized stickers and has donated a portion of the revenue to various organizations providing aid to children and women. Today, I'm delighted to announce that Josephine is the recipient of the Lao Guan Ong Gold Medalist, and she plans to pursue a degree in landscape architecture at the National University of Singapore. She aspires to be a landscape architect to contribute to Singapore's development into a green city and improving the living environment for the community. We wish you all the best, Josephine. It heartens me to see so many Singaporeans come together to support one another during this very difficult period. And it's also because of all of you and your parents and your family members and your friends online that as a nation, we can emerge stronger and become more resilient. Designers and creatives like yourselves have an important role in helping us rise to the challenges of these uncertain times. Good examples are all around us. We rely on clear infographics and videos to stay updated on the rationale, on the latest safe management measures, as well as to understand the rationale for vaccinations and trace together. Everyone's contribution matters. We look to our writers, producers and filmmakers to bring to light stories of resilience and grace in the face of challenges brought about by the pandemic, to uplift our spirits and rally us together. COVID-19 has fundamentally altered the way we live, work and play and many of the changes we have seen over the past year, like the rise of working from home, are likely to remain with us for many years to come. As we work towards a post-COVID new normal, we will need to look to our designers, to our creatives like yourselves, to help us imagine new ways of staying connected with one another. As a media, arts and design graduate, I'm confident that SP has prepared you well for this exciting journey. I know we can count on your expertise and your skills to make a difference to the lives of those around you. In the future economy, jobs will increasingly require graduates to work across disciplinary boundaries to solve complex problems. Some of the finest thinking happens when different fields, ideas and disciplines intersect. And this is the reason why it is important to expose students to different ways of thinking to develop multidisciplinary skills. The impact of COVID-19 on the media sector has been keenly felt. The government's highest priority has been on the one hand to help the industry deal with its immediate challenges and at the same time to ensure that we are preserving and enhancing the sector's capabilities for the long term. And this is crucial because the crisis will pass one day somehow. And when it does, we have to emerge from this stronger and with our capabilities not just intact, but where possible, enhanced. I'm confident that SP has prepared you well to embark on fulfilling careers in the creative industry, not only in traditional jobs such as writers, producers, directors, online content creators and game developers, but also in emerging careers that straddle that intersection between media and technology in areas such as digital media, data analytics, and user experience design. In this regard, I'm heartened that SP has made strides in developing these emerging multidisciplinary skills by combining its existing diploma courses across the media, arts and design sectors into a single diploma in media, arts and design. 
This new course saw its first intake in April 2021 and takes a similar approach to the common entry programs in that it equips students with cross-cutting skills and knowledge in their first year before they go in-depth into one chosen specialisation for the second year. SP's vision is for the Di Diploma in Media, Arts and Design to transform the way creative professionals are developed for our future economy. In their first year, Students go through foundry modules to develop in them the foundational skills and knowledge and offer taster modules which will help them make an informed choice of their specialisation. As they progress along in their course, students will also have the opportunity to work on transdisciplinary projects anchored in real-world tasks designed to help them appreciate connections between the specialisations and build a strong professional portfolio that will give them a head start when they graduate. This is one step towards nurturing a generation of creative professionals who are resilient and versatile across multiple disciplines, possessing deep skills and qualities that will not only position them well to embark on their creative careers, but also stay relevant for years to come in an evolving business landscape marked by volatility and disruptions. Beyond the media arts and design sectors, SP also introduced a transdisciplinary project, TIP elective in September 2019, to give students from all diplomas the opportunity to hone and utilize their design-led creative thinking skills to try to solve complex real-world problems. The latest TIP run has seen over 120 students from 29 different diplomas working together on real-world project challenges supported by seven industry partners. Feedback on the TIP has been encouraging and a number of projects have gone on to be implemented by the industry partners. One example of a student who benefited from the TIP is Q Li Lin. Is Q Li Lin here with us? Okay. But uh, glad we have an opportunity to share about her experience. She is one of the diplomas in experience and product design silver medalists. Li Ling worked together with fellow graduate Fang Qian from the Diploma of Electrical and Electronic Engineering and second year students Lim Jin Yu from the Diploma in Infocom Security Management, Clevens Lim from the Diploma in Accountancy, and Rachel Lee from the Diploma in Integrated Events and Project Management. Li Ling and team were tasked to help local food SME, Li Lam Huat and Co, design a marketing concept to help make Vitame, Vitame is spelled V-I-T-A-M-E-E, -E, a noodle brand and the choice of noodles for millennials. I spelled it out because there are a couple of us who are not from the millennials, huh? just in case we don't know what that is, huh? Vitame. And drawing from their collective passion for food, Li Ling led the team to think about how traditional noodles can be designed to appeal to the younger generation. The team drew on skills and knowledge gained from their respective courses to incorporate the health benefits and texture of Vitame noodles into creative sticker packs on the social media platform Telegram. The experience of consuming noodles is blended into these stickers and as millennials send these stickers over Telegram as a form of self-expression, the brand's online presence is strengthened. Li Ling has said that working on a project as part of a transdisciplinary team has empowered her to understand how design can be applied not just to products, but also in creating meaningful experiences. And even though she did not have knowledge and skills in food development, she stepped out of her comfort zone to develop a new marketing concept with the team by being resourceful, open to ideas, and adopting the fail first, learn fast mentality. I hear the team's project was well received and Lee Lam Huat and Co has plans to roll out the marketing concept. So well done, Li Ling and team. As you all think back about the time that you have spent in SP, I'm sure you'll bring back many fond memories and challenges which, which, which you have had to experience and overcome. It is through these peaks and troughs, valleys, that strong bonds are forged with friends who are there to celebrate your achievements and to support you through challenging times. As you venture into different education and career pathways, treasure your family, your friends, 
and the SP fraternity and keep them close to your heart always. In closing, I would like to encourage you to find your voice and use what you have learned as stepping stones to your next adventure. I believe you have so much more to give and I'm very excited to see what you will achieve in the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. And as what Mr. So said, this is not goodbye, it is see you again next time. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. May I now invite the Acting Senior Director, Business and the Creatives, and Director of the Media Arts and Design School, Ms. Tan Yen Yen, on stage. Ms. Tan, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Digital Animation. Wee Ying Ying, Catherine. Amanda Chung. Anila Yishun Arellano Sanchez. Ang Yi Shi, Sabrina. <laughs> Bernice T. Zi Ying. <laughs> Chia Li Ying, Eileen. <laughs> Chong Chen Lung, Javier. <laughs> Evi Cho Ming Xuan. Go Cheng Shuan Dylan Guru Murti Muraganandan Jay Slim Shu Ying Ko Hei Su Li Jun Yan Li Yang Mok Leong Sin Ru Shamane Lukman Hazik bin Romli Muhammad Sofian bin Zahid Nu Kuratu Ain Binti Jamil Ryan Tung Kai Wen Sin Gung Shin Keen So Bun Hao James Tan Wen Sin, Kerry Nicole. Tia Lam. Wang Jia Yi. Wang Jian Xuan, Daryl. Xiao Yi. Zhao Qin Tong Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Game Design and Development Li Qi Shen
lo jia yi. Wang Su Qi Shirley. Andrew Fu Fang Jian. Cheng Chen Ren Brian. Chiu Jun Jie. Chua Zhe Zhen. Crystal Lao Xin Yi. Go Kai Zhe. Hong Jing Wen, Winnie. Jean Eros Urel Panakui Kabule. Kang Zi Yang. Ko Jason. Quan Yu Chong. Li Junwei, Nigel. Li Xue Xin. Li Zhe Bin. Leon Si Hao Jun. Lim Wei Yi, Marcus. Lim Sin Man, Rachel. Mabel Neo Lin Lee. Melanie Reyes Majumda. Mok Shi Feng. Muhammad Harun bin Abdul Aziz. Muhammad Riyan bin Baharudin. Nathan Wong Kai Shun. Ng Jia Cheng. Ng Wing Hong. O Chen Nin. Ran Jacob Aniban Otero. Ran Ang Yao De. So Ming Wei Glen. Tan Pei En. Tan Yan Ariel. To Hong Jian Joel. To Yu Heng. Lian Long Xuan. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology. Tan Owen Ulfa Binti Erwan Aryani Amalia Binti Arfi'i Augustine Ko Hong Rui Belinda Tan Mei Ru Karian Jan Vincent Dennis. Celine Lim. Ch. 
Chen Hao Rui. Chu Zi Yi. Gordon Go Ching Hui. John Tan Zhong Yang. Jolin Chiam Le Yao. Jovan Chong. Kelly Ng Gyok Kian. Kelvin Chua Gyok Sing. Lai Jing Ying, Jamie. Lee Burness. Lim Tian Kai. Lim Zi Shen, Alicia. Muhammad Amza bin Muhammad Zamri. Muhammad Matin bin Azlan. Ng Wi Lin. Po Wan Jin, Derika. Russell Lim Chis Kiet. Sherlin Teo Sir Lin. Sim Su Yin. Tan Jin Heng. Tan Kai Chin Nicole. Tan Shao Chi Macy. Tan Chi Huan. Tan Yi Ching. Tae Wan Hui, Stephanie. Tiara Maimun Bin Tae Iskanda. Toralde Luigi Justin Diokos. Yang Ching Yi, Berenice. Zidan bin Zalizan. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the Media Arts and Design School. Thank you, Ms. Tan. Ladies and gentlemen, the following prizes and course medals are awarded to our graduates for their excellent academic performance. May I invite Ms. Janet Ang, Chairman of the Singapore Polytechnic Board of Governors on stage. Ms. Ang, please. From the Diploma in Digital Animation course, the Pacific Radiance Animation Prize goes to De Guzman Adrian Lorenzo Yongoyong. <laughs> From the Diploma in Games Design and Development course, the DigiPen Prize goes to Raymond Yo Si Kit. From the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology course, the Zendel Productions Prize goes to Bernice Ong Yin Yi. (laughs) 
Ladies and gentlemen, the following course medals are awarded to our top graduates for their outstanding all-round performance. From the Diploma in Digital Animation course, the Changi Airport Group Silver Medal is awarded to Wong Junwei. The IMDA Gold Medal is awarded to Jose Cho Yi. From the Diploma in Games Design and Development course, the DigiPen Silver Medal is awarded to Tio Xin Han. The IMDA Gold Medal and the DigiPen Prize are awarded to Elson Chiu Kin Le. From the Diploma in Music and Audio Technology course, the Foundation for the Arts and Social Enterprise Silver Medal Award is awarded to Adele Lim. The Foundation for the Arts and Social Enterprise Gold Medal is awarded to Jody Tan Wei Ling. That concludes the awards and the award of prizes and course medals. Thank you, Ms. Ang. Ladies and gentlemen, before we present the highest institutional awards of the Singapore Polytechnic, we will watch a short video presentation on our nine top graduates. Over the years, Singapore Polytechnic has honoured many outstanding graduates who have not only excelled academically, but also affected positive social impact. This year, we celebrate the achievements of the following nine graduates. At five, Ran Ong learned to fold a paper plane. And this Kranji Secondary School alumnus marveled at how small changes to the plane structure altered its flight trajectory. Through SP's diploma in aerospace electronics, he interned at ASTAR's Institute of Microelectronics, where he tested and ran simulations of 5G satellite communications. He even authored a research paper that sought to improve the bandwidth and beam width of the 5G phased array antenna. This SP engineering scholar also used his skills for the community, providing innovative solutions in the Lee Sien Lung Interactive Digital Media Smart Nation Competition and the Cogito Ideation Competition. In Cambodia, as part of SP's social innovation program, he developed a sustainable pond system to increase fish farm productivity. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner plans to pursue a degree in electrical and electronic engineering in the UK to one day use technology to positively impact Singapore. Two words sum up Tristan Wun Kai's time in SP, speed and precision. This Dunman Secondary School alumnus knew, even before taking his O-levels, that he was going to excel as an aeronautical engineer and that SP's Diploma in Aeronautical Engineering was the course to get him there. He took up leadership positions, participated in community work and negotiated in ASEAN and UN-based conferences. He even engaged in a humanitarian disaster relief challenge to reduce disaster relief response time. Through it all, Tristan stayed focused on aviation. In his final year project, this SP engineering scholar and his teammates broke the speed of sound by developing a supersonic wind tunnel capable of accelerating air above the speed of sound and sustain it. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner will read mechanical engineering at NTU, spearheading his ambition to levitate the prominence and status of Singapore's aerospace sector. It was a Korean drama series on cyber investigation that drew Chua Min Min into the domain. Determined to make a mark in cyberspace, this Bukit Panjang Government High School student took up SP's Diploma in Infocom Security Management. 
Academically, she dug deep. Working with open source tools and conducting AI assisted penetration tests to detect weaknesses in cybersecurity systems. Her internship in IT audit further exposed her to technology governance, risk, and compliance. She also engaged in IT events to build her network. Outside of class, she helped conduct and plan activities for primary school students at a care centre through SP's BP Mentoring Club. For this Lee Kuan Yew Award winner, the next step is NTU, where she will study computer science with a minor in business to help Singapore become not just a smart nation, but a safe one as well. When she was in Secondary 3, Kimberly Surya attended SP's Electrical and Electronic Engineering Advanced Elective Module and realised her interest in engineering. So after her O-levels, this Kranji Secondary School student took up SP's Diploma in Mechatronics and Robotics through the Polytechnic Foundation program. This SP Engineering Scholar took every opportunity to learn and apply her engineering skills working on sustainable solutions at an overseas community service trip, creating 3D printed mask straps during the COVID-19 pandemic, and developing prototypes during her internship at the NUS's Minimum Viable Product Studio. She then went on to take on a leadership role as Vice President of the School of Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering. This Lee Kuan Yew Award winner plans to further her studies under NTU's Renaissance Engineering Program. Even in primary school, Jerwin Teo Wenqian was already turning a profit selling erasers. So SP's Diploma in Business Administration was a clear choice. That and the fact that he could take up a Diploma Plus program in Humanitarian Affairs alongside it. For this Bukit Batok Secondary School alumnus, education went well beyond the classroom. This SP scholar engaged in numerous competitions and client projects, developing sustainable solutions, coming up with bold marketing campaigns to build brand awareness, and taking on an internship that involved retail, marketing, design, and research. Yet, while keeping abreast of business trends and strategies, this Alfred Robert Eddis Prize winner never lost sight of the disadvantaged societies he had visited and worked with through numerous community service trips in Southeast Asia. So this Teochin Chai gold medalist plans to further his studies in business at a local university and upon graduation spearhead a social enterprise. Even when she was young, Josephine Quan Shu Jin realized the impact plants had on the environment. So this Woodlands Ring Secondary School student took up SP's Diploma in Landscape Architecture through its Polytechnic Foundation program to nurture her passion. Academically, she tried everything. Building interiors, landscapes for shopping malls, communal spaces with safe distancing buffers. She even used 3D digitalization to improve SP's campus facade. Beyond the classroom, she started an online business to raise awareness and funds for global concerns like the World Wildlife Fund and the Red Cross. This low one on gold medalist plans to pursue a degree in landscape architecture in NUS so that she can contribute towards Singapore's vision of becoming a green city. As a teenager, Sheriff Zaidi realised that people who like their jobs led more contented lives. So she took up SP's Diploma in Human Resource Management with Psychology to understand the impact of work on the individual and how she could make a difference to the satisfaction levels of the Singapore workforce. At SP, this SP scholar and Yishun Town Secondary School alumni engaged in networking events hackathons and client projects to trial and test HR concepts and practices. Her team even designed a training and appraisal framework for a local F&B company. It was so well received, the company incorporated it into the existing operations. This Chor Chor Tech medalist will be taking up SMU's Bachelor of Business Management course. Convinced that HR is a calling, Sheris hopes to help employees embark on a meaningful career through upskilling and lifelong learning. 
Scott Lee Hon Si was 10 when he won his first graphic design competition. That led to fun real-life design and build projects. To pursue his passion, Scott took up SP's Diploma in Experience and Product Design. Nothing put the brakes on his enthusiasm. During COVID-19, he was stuck at home. How could he help children stuck in the same position? That led to the design of an adjustable cardboard table, which was nominated for the prestigious President's Volunteerism and Philanthropy Award. This SP Outstanding Talent Program student also turned his ideas into business ventures, launching his glass markers on Kickstarter. He also offered his skills to Wildlife Reserve Singapore to design an education-based app about nature. This Tan Keyong gold medalist aims to head to the UK to further his design education. During his secondary school days, Izzat bin Mahat struggled with many subjects. But this Yuan Ching secondary school alumnus excelled in one, design and technology, which allowed him to create functional products while exploring the use of complex machines. So he took up mechatronics engineering at ITE and then enrolled into SP's diploma in bioengineering. It was the perfect choice as the course allowed Izzat to serve society through his work. During his three years at the Polytechnic, this SP engineering scholar conducted research on thermal characteristics of bioengineering devices, developed solutions to generate sustainable energy, and even went to Bintan on an overseas community service project to lend his expertise to a wastewater management system for the community. The next step for this Tae Ng Soon gold medalist is NTU, where he will pursue a degree in bioengineering. SP is proud to celebrate the success of our institutional award winners. These graduates have embraced our vision to prepare our students to be life ready, work ready and world ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the highest institutional awards of the Singapore Polytechnic. These awards, the Tae Ng Soon Gold Medal, the Tan Kei Yong Gold Medal, the Chua Cho Tech Gold Medal, the Lo Guan On Gold Medal, the To Chin Chai Gold Medal, and the Lee Kuan Yew Awards are awarded to the Polytechnic's top students in recognition of their exceptional all-round performance throughout their course. We are privileged today to have Ms. Sun Xieling, Minister of State for Ministry of Education and Ministry of Social and Family Development with us today. It gives me great pleasure to invite our guest of honor, Ms. Sun, on stage for the, for the award presentation of the gold medals and top awards. Ms. Sun, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's recipient of the Tae Ng Soon Gold Medal is an outstanding graduate from the Diploma in Bioengineering course. The BD Silver Medal is also awarded to Izzat bin Mahat. The recipient of the Chua Cho Tech Gold Medal is a graduate from the Diploma in Human Resource Management with Psychology course. The Tafep Gold Medal is also awarded to Sheri Zaidi. <laughs> this year's recipient of the Lo Guan On Gold Medal is from the Diploma in Landscape Architecture course. The National Parks Board Gold Medal is also awarded to Josephine Kwan Shujin. The To Chin Chai Gold Medal recipient this year is from the Diploma in Business Administration course. The Expeditors Singapore Gold Medal and the Alfred Robert Edis Prize are also awarded to Zhou Win To Wen Tian. The following are Lee Kuan Yew Awards presented this year. The first recipient is a graduate from the Diploma in Aeronautical Engineering course the SIA Engineering Gold Medal, the OCBC Prize, and the Institution of Engineers Gold Medal Award are also awarded to Tristan Woon Jikai. <laughs> the 
The second Lee Kuan Yew Award recipient is a graduate from the Diploma in Aerospace Electronics course. The ST Aerospace Gold Medal, the OCBC Prize, and the Institution of Engineers Gold Medal Award are also awarded to Ryan Ong. The third recipient of the Lee Kuan Yew Award is a graduate from the Diploma in Mechatronics and Robotics course. The ST Engineering Land Systems Gold Medal and the OCBC Prize are also awarded to Kimberly Surya. That concludes the highest awards of the Singapore Polytechnic. Thank you, Ms. Soon. Ladies and gentlemen, giving the pre-recorded valedictory speech on behalf of the new graduates is Scott Lee Honsi, a graduate of the Diploma course in Experience and Product Design. Please sit back and watch the farewell address. Fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Three years ago, we set forth on this journey as media arts and design students. But who would have guessed that we could potentially make a dent, enhance, and disrupt the creative industry? The past three years, that was our foundation. That was our starting point, And that was where our journey began. We all experienced those sleepless nights, times at which giving up and contentment threatened our push to excellence. I remember the countless nights camping at a friend's house, watching assignments, and in those moments, when I was battling sleep, nothing empowered me more than the drive to be the best that I could be. That if I could just overcome this hurdle, I knew I would be one step closer to achieving my goals. But it was not all bad. There's a beauty in doing what we do. During my internship at a company called Chemistry, I was presented with the opportunity to help low-income families who were adversely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. A simple cardboard table may not seem like much, but the smiles on the kids' faces to have their own workspace for their online classes. I'll never forget it. Our industry is often simplistically and mistakenly regarded as the enabler to create beautiful things. But at its core, we hold the power to change the world. One problem, one opportunity at a time. We have all come a long way. We have persisted, challenged, and overcome the storm. In the midst of it all, we made friends, we partied, and we made memories. I would like to thank my family for proving that everybody needs a good support system. Thank you for your tirelessness and unwavering support in helping me to achieve my goals. I would like to thank all the lecturers for the support and the knowledge that you have imparted. And most importantly, I would like to thank my friends. You guys brought joy in the tensest of moments, teaching me that studying without play is meaningless. Graduates, achieving your goals is not about what you get physically, but the person that you become along the way. Today, you are the best version of yourselves that you have ever been, and it is only just the beginning. I am so excited as we move on to the next chapter of our lives. There will be more sweat. There will be more tears. But I do not doubt that success, in whatever form, shall be waiting around the corner. Congratulations, Mad Graduates 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand? The procession group will now leave the convention hall.
In line with safe management measures, please wait for the queue from your usher before leaving your designated exit. We seek your understanding that you will need to leave the campus. You will not be allowed to intermingle or look for your lecturers. Please ensure that you have all your belongings before you leave the convention hall. Have a pleasant day.